Nation. Oh, you know what? Let's let's watch the Gervais yes. clip. Yes, yes, Ooh, yes. Fuck is Gervais. He's a he's a Brit. <laughs> let's not undersell Ricky Gervais. Oh, he he is a, does look like him though. He's a legendary comic. I've yeah. seen him before. Yeah. So now he uh he hosted the Golden Globes. I think this is his like fifth year in a row. And he uh basically went into this telling everybody this is my last year doing it. Mm-hmm. And uh then he proceeded to fucking destroy Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. All night. All fucking night. Now uh we can just uh sit back and really watch this. Yeah, let's take and it. Just in. enjoy the the destruction we'll see him, of the stars. Uh, blow up, uh, blow up Hollywood one time. Yeah. <laughs> you'll you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood Hello. foreign press can barely speak English, and they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Wow. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? <laughs> Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> yeah. oh. Remember that. Um, but you all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. <laughs> so, no. Shush. Up it's Tom your, Hanks it's is pissed. It's your daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So... <laughs> Oh no. Lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Hey. Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Um, but tonight oh, isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. Who's that? He's coming for you. Look, yeah, sure. talking of all you perverts, white guys. it was a big <laughs> year. Guy. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, <laughs> Whoa, surviving God. R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Shut up. I, don't <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Look at all the long faces. <laughs> I like that one. That was funny. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, fifth Shit. time. So, He's like, we well, you can't believe it. Tom Hanks is pissed. This year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. <laughs> no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. <laughs> Maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> no one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. <laughs> that, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this. <laughs> oh, shit. Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> oh. Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. Yo. Yeah, Got yeah. Got the bomb on him, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and that was... And you see all the long faces. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. They couldn't believe it. They're like this fucking guy. But let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. 
a Jeffrey Epstein joke, no matter how how stupid and uncreative it is, is always funny, <laughs> no matter what the context is, uh, except for in Hollywood. Mm-mm. That shows you where their fucking yeah, where because, their brain is at because he they be doing the same bullshit. Yeah, is it really that big of a where where the, it deserved a? Oh my god! No, that was a laugh. It deserved a laugh. They should have laughed at that. Mm-hmm. Because I'm I'm sorry. I know he was your friend. <laughs> That's funny as shit. It's facts as fuck. Half <gasps> of them friends. Gasp. And you How'd know you how know that? how like you got to give him his 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 brilliance of the fact that he made like a Jeffrey Epstein kill himself joke, but he knew enough that they were gonna react the way they did. Mm-hmm. That he had the. I'm sorry. I know he was your friend. Yeah. <laughs> knew they were gonna snap on him. It's classic. That's great. Right, but m- seriously, most films are awful, lazy, uh, remakes, sequels. I've heard a rumor that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that'd just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> I didn't get it. White people? White people. Yeah. <laughs> All the best actors have jumped uh, to uh, Netflix, Meryl HBO, Street. you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. <laughs> no point. We know we'd win that. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. <laughs> he's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> right. The he hated on Marvel. was amazing. It was well, amazing. Um, that, it was. My, my, it was great. Uh, Brad Pitt did not Long, want to clap his hands. Amazing. You said Brad Pitt. Didn't yeah, he didn't, want, he didn't want to clap his hands. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have the crowd. Like he, the, you could tell they hate him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he wasn't lying when he said this was his last year. He's done. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So, <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> he was Even like, "You Prince son Andrew's of a bitch!" Andrew's like, "Come on, Leo, mate." You know. Even Prince Andrew. <laughs> You're nearly fifty, son. Um, yeah. <laughs> the world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. Oh, oh shit. shit! He was also in the movie Cats, but <laughs> no one saw that. Uh, oh and no! The reviews. Oh, shocking! I saw one that said this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she—I can't do this next joke. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, you can. Because you did everything else. Nothing oh, better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, and licking her. <laughs> so look at her own pussy. <laughs> yeah. She was like, I can't believe he said that. <laughs> Furball. Furball. Oh, oh Jesus whoa. Christ. <laughs> Yo. It's the last time. Who cares? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh. He killing that shit. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama. Yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. <laughs> so, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, <laughs> wouldn't you? So if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. <laughs> oh, you know Jesus nothing Christ. about the real world. Uh, Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, <laughs> right? Yo! Come on, accept your little wow. word, thank your agent and your god, and... <laughs> and fuck oh, off. Okay? <laughs> oh, shit. 
Jesus, he lit them up. It's already Look, three he's hours mad. Long. Look, he's mad. Tom Hanks is like, you just fucked up my speech. <laughs> right, let's do the first award. The first award. <laughs> <laughs> The first award is But then hold on, here's the funny part now is you know this is like their big night. Mm. The rest of the show he treats it like he's fucking hosting like a backyard barbecue. Like, <laughs> like you he, don't give a fuck. He does not <laughs> show any fuck. like interest. No enthusiasm, nothing. What he destroys happened? everybody that he announces. What happens? <laughs> is, is Ricky Gervais is real? He he's always look. sort of been a, a here's the thing. Is he's he's gotten away with it for a long time because he's not really an American, mm -hmm. so they kind of give him a little more leeway. Yeah, because he's from Britain. Yeah. All right, let's just watch a little end. This is him like presenting awards now. Okay. Jeez, so just take note of how Hi. little he gives a fuck. I got you. For best actor in a television series, musical or comedy, to present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> but... <laughs> short clip. <laughs> that was a good joke. Well, that was a good joke. Back. Still having a good time? <laughs> good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Wow. That's a cute one. Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. <laughs> Hello, we're back. That's how he introduced their president. Mm -hmm. um, Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats. It's, it's that easy. Hello, welcome back. Um, I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So, please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, he don't give a fuck. A lot of controversy uh, about our next category. No female directors were nominated this year. Uh -oh. Not one. Well. I mean, that, that's bad. Um, I have genuinely, I've had a word with the Hollywood Foreign Press and they've guaranteed that will never happen again. Um, no, because working with all the major studios, um, they've agreed to go back the way things were a few years ago when they didn't even hire women directors. No! And that will solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Kill me. We're nearly done. Please. Fucking Three, guy. It's already. Right. Um. Last one. Last one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Our next presenter star. <laughs> like, shut up. I'm going to announce this. A movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. <laughs> sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh, wow. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. <laughs> oh, oh my God! You roasted him. That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. <laughs> yeah, get drunk. Take your drugs. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it wasn't great, he's all. A great, yeah. He's a great host. That was great. That was all great. hosts did that. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Well, that's a lot of it was that that British humor. Mm -hmm, that, yeah. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. dry fucking. But yeah, he he roasted him. Yeah, he mm -hmm. killed the ass. It's kind of like working for Har Harvey Weinstein. Well, he also had a lot of those jokes that just made like if an, a person went up and had that acceptance speech uh -huh. where they did the political thing. Now they look like idiots. Yeah. So now they can't do it. They yeah. just got to be like, oh, thank, thank God. And I then, think they did it anyway. Yeah, but, they probably did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this wonderful video that we put so much hard work into. Shut the fuck up, Wonder. And uh, <laughs> please subscribe. Yeah. We need you. Yeah. Well, bring us to 1K. You know yes. what time it? No. What was it? 
You know the fucking vibes. You know these fucking you know vibes. Fucking vibes. You know the fucking vibes. Yes. Exactly. The red subscription box. Aha. Uh -huh. And the bell. So anytime we drop a video, you get that notification right to your Naughty phone. Naughty fucking game. Nice. All nice. day. All, All day. Right. Fuck off. I got it. Wait. Let me give you a salute. Piss off.